G'day, Argy Bargy crew. Hope you're having a fantastic day and your family's happy and healthy. Okay, today what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at how you can bind the buttons in your SIM dash. I've had quite a few people asking exactly how you would go about binding the buttons because some people have been uh, installing SIM dash onto their tablets and finding that some of the buttons don't work and they're wondering how to uh, fix that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the easy way and then the slightly harder way and there's two reasons why you would choose either one of those and I'll show you them in a tick. But first off, uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please think about it. It's free and you might as well. YouTube loves it and I do too and it really does help out. Also, uh, if you like this video at the end of it, give me a thumbs up. If not, give me a thumbs down. Tell me what you didn't like and I'll see if I can fix it. Also, if you're interested in joining the VTC, there'll be links in the description below. There'll be links in the description to basically everything you need to know down there, Discord, etc, etc. So please read the description and you'll find out what you need to find out. All right, now, so <clears throat> again, what we're looking at is the SIM dash control and uh, this will be applicable to not only ATS and ETS2, but basically any other game that you use the SIM dash on. So don't think this is just about your ATS or your ETS2. If you're using a set of Corsair or whatever, uh, any of the racing sims or whatever, and you're using a control pad uh, and you need to bind the buttons, this will help you out. So it's transferable over to any game that you're using this on. All right, so the first thing you'll need to know is that you'll have to go into your uh, game and go into options and then into keys and buttons down the bottom here once you're on keys and buttons this is where all the binding of your keys and your controls takes place so again you go into options you go into keys and buttons and this is where it is right here and these are all your keys and buttons and there's a ton of them and what we'll do is i will simply go through a couple of um button binds and then you you can uh, take it from there this is the easy way okay so get prepared to be astounded <laughs> how easy it is all right so for example say you want to this button here is the uh diff lock okay so your differential lock if you want to bind that to uh your differential lock all you've got to do is find it in the keys and buttons now if it's too hard to find by scrolling up and down you can go over to the search bar and then just type in lock and there it is differential lock all right now you'll want to then find one that's empty if it's not doesn't matter you can still override it by clicking on and when it turns the sort of orangey color you then just press your differential lock button that's on your control panel and there you go it was already V, but what I'm doing is just showing you how it works. So let's say there was nothing there. In fact, I can fix that. Sign. But when you come in, it may look like this. And you want to uh, bind your differential button, differential lock button, on your control to it. So you click here, and you go, boom, and there you go. It is now bound to your differential lock. Okay, the same goes for your uh, trailer coupling. If you want to do that or attach trailer again all you do if you can't find it by scrolling let's type in attach up here and as you can see it's got trailer attached detached now let's say that that was oops let's say that was unassigned there's nothing there we come to it and click on it click your trailer button bang it's assigned that's how easy it is if you're wanting to bind any of these buttons, that's all you've got to do. You've just got to find out what, uh, for example, headlights. You just type in headlights up here. And then you've got your high beam light, headlights, reset, headlights, blah, blah, blah. So you, you would then just, um, the lights is probably the way to go, lights. Yeah, there we go, light modes. You can then use any of these buttons bind to your lights so it's just a matter of pressing the button and binding it so again let's go back to um, attach trailer 
So that was unassigned. I'm just showing you this again so you can get the idea. I'm going to, this is the attach trailer button on sim dash. And that's the attach, detach trailer button on the game. So then I'm pressing the one on the game so that it lights up. And then I press the one on the sim dash and it registers up there and it's now bound to that uh, function. All right, so that's the easy way. Now the hard way would be if, for example, you were coming in here and none of these buttons had anything, um, or, or all these buttons were conflicting with something that you're using or in the game. So for example, let's say, um, we'll use map for example. Let's say you wanted to use your map button, go to map, but it actually was uh, registered as a T. Hang on now, let me do this. Don't look, I'm not supposed to see this yet. <laughs> We're just, I'm just setting this up to make it look like it was conflicting with uh, the trailer attached. So what I would do, let me change this. This is going to be a little bit difficult, but bear with me. Okay, so now you can see up close what we've got here. All right, so this is your sim dash, and we're going to try and use the map button to choose the map. So I would then go back to the game, and I would type in map like that. And there's a world map there now as you can see it's m so what we're having for is if i hit that button that it's an m all right so if i hit that button as you can see it's it's a t and it's telling me now that i've lost the function for trailer attach detach as you remember we pressed this button here it was uh t for trailer but now because that's a t as well it's conflicting if you understand what i mean so what you need to do is you need to change that. But first, before you do it, you want to go back to attach. This is a long way around, but like I say, this is a slightly more difficult way. Oops. See. So you want to go back to attach and you want to make sure that you reassign that. So now it's T. Alright, so that's done. You don't have to worry about it. Now you want to go back to map. And there's world map now of course you've reassigned t to trailer attach that is now vacant which is what you want but now we'll go back to your sim dash now you want to change the map button to an m because it's a t so what you do is in the sim dash not in the game but in the sim dash you come here in sim dash double click on an empty spot okay and it will bring up this bar now let me double click again if you double click on a button nothing will happen so it has to be a vacant spot or a blank spot double click and it brings up this bar and this is the bar that you can use to edit your buttons so up here is a pencil which means that that's the edit function so you brought the, the red bar up hit the um, pencil to edit now come over to the button that you want to edit, whichever button it is. Come over to it. Make sure that when you click it, the whole button has a red square around it. Because if you don't, let's see if I can do it. See how that's just a red square around the little icon? All you'll be editing there is the icon. You want the whole button come up. See how here it's just a map? It's no good. You want the whole button like that. So now there's a red square around the whole button. So now you can edit the whole button. So then you would go to this, whoops. Then you go to this green icon here and tick that. And it brings up a new window. Now I don't know if you're going to see this properly, if it's too bright. Hopefully it's not. So in here you would scroll down until you, to, you come to uh, key. The desired key now you can see it's on t we want to change that from t to an m so we go click on it and then scroll down till we find an m 
and change it to an M. I'll do that again. So you click on it, find the M, click on the M, and now you know that that key will be an M. So now we'll click OK. So that key now is registered to the M key. So up here, there's a tick. And this is to say, yes, I'm correct. I'll save it. You'll get out of that. Double click on that. Now you know that's an M. You go back into the game and find, because I've been clicking things, and it's typed it in there. Let's go back, 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 map. And you can see here map. So we click on the map. Now I'll click on the map button and it registers and you can see there's no conflict. So it registered as an M. So now when I click the map, it will bring up the map. So again, I'll go through that so that you can understand that a bit more. I'm going to change it. So I double click, bring up the red bar, hit the pencil. Oops, I better change it over so you can see. So if it, I'll get out of there, start again. So we're in the dashboard, double click on a blank slot, hit the pencil, make sure that the whole button comes up, hit the green, and in here, I change it if it's T, I would change it from T to M, make sure it's M, click OK, come up here where the tick is, click tick, that says it's OK, now I'm ready to rock and roll, I can now go back into the game, Click on here, press that, and M is now registered, and there's no conflict registered down the bottom. So again, if you have a, re a conflict where it's conflicting with your, um, like I say, your trailer um, attach or whatever it's conflicting with, no matter what it is, you'll get something here where it'll say, such and such is now un unassigned. So then you know it's conflicting. You come in, make sure that you put the uh, one that it was unassigned but you reassign it come back here to the button that you want to change to a new letter do what i said double click hit the edit click on the button make sure it's completely red hit the green and then scroll down to wherever it is not sure if you can see this in this screen uh, and then just change it to the letter you want click ok click the pick and you're finished Hopefully, you understood all that. If you've got any questions about it, please ask down in the uh, description in the comments. If not, um, you can ask over at the Discord. Just join our Discord. Uh, and yeah, so again, if uh, you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Remember, it's free. You might as well. YouTube loves it. I love it, and I would really appreciate it. Also, if you think it was a good video give me the thumbs up if you don't thumbs down tell me what you thought was wrong i'll try and fix it if you know of a friend that might uh, benefit from the video please share with it with them and uh, hopefully you did enjoy it and we'll catch you in the next bye for now